commonly, a person is either black or white, but once in a while, we meet people with white or pink patches on their skin. These people always seem to have a bit of both colors. This condition is known as vitiligo. skin disorder that destroys the pigmentation of the skin is something that I cannot help okay but when people make up stories that I don't want to be who I am it hurts me. Vitiligo is a long-term skin disorder that causes discoloration of the skin. It usually covers a few body parts but at times it may cover the whole body as it is the case with Daphne Walusa. Daphne was born black however in 2007, in her senior two, she discovered a small white patch on her lower lip. At first, because of lack of knowledge, she ignored it. But as time went on, the patch started to spread across her lips and later to her neck. Out of worry, her mother decided to take her to the hospital. Daphne narrates that it was through several journeys to different doctors that she one day learned she had vitiligo. But at the time, she was already facing these complications. That was kind of like a burning kind of feeling. Yes. I think because I didn't know, so I would expose it to the sun, so I would get kind of like blisters. I didn't know. Yes. There is no way to tell if vitiligo will spread, but often the white patches will spread to other areas of the body. For a lucky few, the white patches do not spread at all, while for the rest, they spread slowly over many years. For the unfortunate, the spreading occurs quickly. For Daphne, the spread was rapid. She explains what she believes could have caused it that way. I didn't do anything about it, but also I realized when I met other people that had vitiligo, they told me about it also, their experience and all that. So they say stress also causes it. Vitiligo seems to have a genetic component as the condition tends to run in families. Daphne too confessed that one of her paternal uncles had the condition, though his case did not get as bad as hers. Considering the fact that the disease affects a person's physical appearance, Daphne narrates some challenges she has faced. Stigmatization, people stare, people can stare at you, <laughs> and you're like some kind of celeb or something. <laughs> yeah, but um, um, apart from the, the stares and all that, they throw all kinds of words at you. People say you bleached, you know. <laughs> Other girls will approach and they're like, what did you use? Want to use what you use? <laughs> yeah, um, so I think basically that's it. And the sun. Then also, now like for my case, meat covered the whole body. So I can't do without sunscreen. So I have to buy sunscreen. And sunscreen in Uganda is very expensive. Daphne says she tried several vitiligo treatments trying to get cured. Both medical prescriptions in local hubs. None seemed to work. She thinks the stress that comes with school would have prevented the medicines from working. Nevertheless, with all those disadvantages, Daphne has still found some benefits in her condition. The first benefit that I'll, that will, I'll forever be grateful for it. Um, I was able to study at university for my three years on government sponsorship because of my skin. That gave me, you know, that zeal to, like, let me do my books, let me read. Then the other thing is I've gotten friends. Globally, about 1% of all people are affected by vitiligo. I'm Indian with white patches. I'm an African American with white patches. I am Hispanic with white patches. I am black with white patches. I'm Caucasian with white patches. I am Asian with white patches. I'm human 
the white patches. Its exact cause is unknown. However, in Uganda, several myths surround the disorder. According to Uganda Human Rights Commission and Vitligo Association of Uganda, these myths are a major source of discrimination and stigma against persons living with Vitligo. We therefore took to the streets to find out what people think of Vitligo. Through stories I had from students, it was a disease. Me too, I took that one, a self-fulfilling prophecy. It is a nice disease that makes you, if you're dark, it makes your skin dark, you have patches of white on your skin. So that is basically what I know about it. No, I've never heard about it with and I've never heard about it. With that in mind, we decided to dig deep into Daphne's personal life by asking her boyfriend what it feels like being close to a lady with fit liquor. It's normal. It's like, like any other girl. You can see. There is no known cure for fit legal, but several treatment options are available. The treatment may help the affected skin look more uniform. The choice of treatment depends on the number of patches, how widespread the patches are, the treatment the person prefers to use. So we spoke to Dr. Eduardo Guang a dermatologist at Skin Specialist Clinic who breaks down how the different vitiligo treatments work. Creams or tablets, okay? Uh, sometimes we use um, ultraviolet light radiation to stimulate the remaining melanocytes, the remaining cells to produce more pigment. So you need to cancel the person extensively so that you take away the remaining black color so that they're uniform, right? So they're uniformly black, they have a new identity altogether. And then they get to embrace their new self and learn to now protect themselves from the damages that might come with the new lighter skin type. Every 25th of June is World Vitaly Good Day. However, unlike other celebrated commemorative days in Uganda, Vitaly Good Day is not that popular since most people do not know what it's all about. Sometimes, people tend to confuse it with albinism. Currently, the Vitligo Association of Uganda, which Daphne is a part of, is advocating for funds to acquire sunscreens for patients and also raise awareness about it. Who knows what the future holds for the patients with Vitligo? It, it, it's gonna do what it does, and it's a very sensitive um, subject. Will people still look at it as a curse? Vitiligo. 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 We're twins and we have vitiligo. 